I see you working hard, G. I'm trying. I'm busy. So you don't do boxers too, you do personal clients? Get them in shape? Yeah, but they can't come in here and bullshit. I don't like nobody bullshit. Start getting mad. Mm -hmm. Start getting angry and shit. You wanna like me when I'm angry. Hey, Greg. All the way down, all the way up. There you go. She dead. <laughs> She about to check. Hey Greg, mm -hmm. I noticed that um, when you're giving your thoughts yeah. about boxing, you got some fans that don't agree with you, and the first thing that they bring up yeah. is your boxing record. Yeah, touch on that. Right? I mean, that's just what they've been taught. In, in boxing, we we have been taught that that perfect is is what you want to be and what you want to do. The thing is, nothing's perfect, especially in life. So when guys going off the Mayweather shit. They think everybody's supposed to be undefeated, but how? Some people are going to lose, some people are going to win. Even the great ones took losses. The thing is, right, those are the people who don't know nothing about the sport. Because if you've been in the ring, you wouldn't even judge another man because you know. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the shit you hear through the media and shit like that, when guys be talking, it be bullshit, just trying to sell. Because to call another man a bum that's been in there time and time and again and made the rounds and did what he had to do, you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't in your right mind really disrespect you if you know what he really went through. You know what I mean? What, it, what the problem is with me, first of all, me being a black man, me being from Philly, you know what I'm saying? I'm not supposed to know shit. I'm not supposed to be involved in shit. My, my word is not supposed to be violent at all. But the thing is, I'm, I'm definitely the guy you want to talk to because I'm the guy who learned through experience. You got people who learn through books and never been through nothing, and they know everything they know from books, which is, I'm not against that, but I'm a guy who actually been through some shit. So when people say that my knowledge is on this level about the sport, they thinking, all right, well, how could he know if he didn't make it to that level? I know because I've been in there with guys on that level. I've trained guys on that level. So, you know what I mean? My knowledge don't come from me making it actually to the top as a fighter, but my knowledge comes from me being in the sport and experiencing. Of course I wouldn't know everything coming up because, you know what I'm saying, nobody's giving you everything at one time. It don't happen like that. And, and all of this new shit that's going on in boxing, guys getting help, guys getting all these sponsors and, and managers and shit like that, it wasn't like that when I came out. Plus, I didn't have a big amateur career. I was, a, like I said, I was a street kid that just took fights. I fought here and there, you know, in the amateurs. I had, only had 15 fights. And then when it came time to turn pro, I already had my first son. You know what I mean? I had a, had a, a house, paying rent on, paying bills. It's time to make some money. They called for a fight, two weeks notice, I took the fight. I'm just a guy that know how to fight. That's my whole thing, you know what I mean? My, my experience from the ring in the street, I, I balled it all up together and I made something of it. Mm -hmm. People think you're supposed to be Mayweather to talk. You're supposed to be Emmanuel Stewart. But all of these guys got stories. All these guys took losses somewhere in their life. So, you know what I mean? That's just that's just what the average person thinks. But I'm not an average person. I don't think like an average person. So, you know what I mean? That's why you get people responding like that. They they, they look at the, the book and they see the cover and they say, fuck read and what, fuck what's on the inside. I ain't even going to read that book. So that's why you got people talking like that. And if you notice something about me, none of my fights is on YouTube. None of my fights are visible. Why and is that? You know why. You know why. I, I want the people to know why. Because I'm getting the motherfuckers' asses. You're supposed to know. You're supposed to know that. I watched the I watched the fight with you personally. Probably your last fight. Yeah, with that fair. That fair was my last fight. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I was at that fight. Yeah. You won that fight. Yeah. A lot of people thought you I You won did. that fight. Yeah. And... The, uh, Politics, it, yo. It, it, if that was the, if that was like a window into your career, man, then that's fucked that up. That was basically my career. You know what I mean, except I fought from one forty-seven all the way up to two hundred pounds. And yeah, how tall are you, bro? Five six on the best day. So how did you get up that high? Just fat fella. I like to eat, <laughs> and the women I deal with, they like to eat. So what you supposed to do? She cracked it up. <laughs> no, cause that's how it go. Like you, you know what I'm saying? You deal with a chick. Anybody know if you're dealing with a chick, she likes to eat. Yeah. So you, you know what I mean? Ain't no way you're dealing with a woman, you ain't taking her out to eat. I just eat with her. I mean, I had kids. You feed the kids, you eat with them. You know what I'm saying? It's how it be. You like extra gravy on your rice? Yeah, all day. <laughs> all day. But, I mean, that's the sport. Another thing is, though, you got guys who out here 20 and 0, can't fight at all. And I mean, it's a promotion thing. So with promotion comes popularity. That's what's happening in boxing now. It's a popularity contest. It's not about the real. If it was about the real, then a lot of these guys you wouldn't even be looking at. All right. 
break down how a person gets moved in their career because I'm not sure that fans understand the paying for opponents and all that. Well, you say I got a guy who's popular on the street. I'm just saying he's popular in his neighborhood. The grandmoms love him. The, 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 the mailman love him. Everybody love him. He start boxing. He do pretty good. All right, promoter see, shit, this guy going to sell 500 tickets his first fight. You add up the money. Whatever the tickets cost, whatever he, he sell 500 tickets. That's a lot of fucking tickets. That's a lot of money. If you could do that on a local level with a guy that don't have a big amateur background, there you go. That's how you get guys that's 20 and 0 that you never heard of. It's just that simple. You know what I mean, it's popularity. If you got a guy that can sell tickets, we're going to keep him moving. We're going to keep him safe. The whole thing is matchmaking. If you match him up in the right fights and you let the guys know that he's fighting in the right amount of time where they ready but they're not ready, you know what I'm saying, he's going to most likely win. Give me an example of what that entails. Well, once I got called two days' notice for a fight, I took the fight. I'm from the streets, bro. I'm not nobody that act like I came from money and none of that. I didn't come from money. So a motherfucker offered me $2,000 for four rounds, which is 12 minutes worth of work, to go fight somebody. And I've been fighting in the streets all my life for free. Why wouldn't I go pick up two grand real quick? You know what I'm saying? Some people say that's dumb. Shit, where I'm from is smart. Because I could be trying to rob somebody for the two grand. I could be trying to sell drugs and get killed. You know what I'm saying? For the two grand. So it makes total sense to me, but some people it don't. So you I mean, took a fight on Tuesday? I took a fight on 10 hours notice. Brian Dillon called me one time one morning at 10, 10 o'clock in the morning to come fight in D.C., which is a two-hour drive from Philly. I took the two-hour drive, went and made 1700 real quick. So is that what Box Rec don't tell you? That's box, box Rec don't give you, and that's why you, you context. And that's why you got so many geniuses out here because they looking at Box Rec. But they, box Rec tell you 10% of the story. They don't tell you a lot of these guys get called on short notice. A lot of these guys used to fight at 130. They, they match them up at 147, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But another thing, look at my record. I've never been knocked out. Never been knocked out. So imagine that. I'm 5'6". I'm fighting motherfucker 6'2", 6'5". I fought a couple 6'5s in my career. A line test fights. Exactly. And I went the distance with him. Jared Hurd, I gave him hell. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's the game. And he, world, he was world champion. So Unified world champion. Exactly. So that's the game. They don't tell you all that, though. But you got so many people at home, they on the couch, they eating their favorite pizza, and they, they good at judging people. You know what I mean? That's the thing. That's what they best at, judging people. You know what I mean? So that's why you got so many people talking like that. But it don't bother me because I know I can fight. And most nine times out of ten, shit, ten times out of ten. Motherfuckers saying that on the internet, definitely not going to run with me. And they definitely can't stand it with me. Hmm. Okay. My thing, my man, appreciate you. Hey, guys. Want to win some money? Bet US Sportsbook, the best online sports book there is. Click the link and put the promo code YSM2022 and you'll get a 125% deposit match. That's YSM2022. See you there.